BYD's chief scientist has revealed when exactly he believes that solid state batteries will be used en masse in electric cars. When will they be deployed in, a, you know, basically 20% or more of the automotive industry? The prediction he's made, it's interesting. I don't personally agree with it, but he is the chief scientist at BYD. So what the hell would I know? Here's what he said. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Thanks for tuning in. I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have supported us on Patreon. I'll put a link in the description if you want to support us on Patreon. That'd be amazing. Even just a couple of dollars, it does absolutely make a difference. And I will post up, guys, any if you're interested on the Patreon page within the next week, my health protocols, my sauna protocols, my protocols for what I do in terms of working out, my diet protocols, all that stuff. If you want to know any of that, um, yeah, just jump on Patreon and you can support us there. BYD's chief scientist, he expects solid state batteries or says solid state batteries will be used widely within the next five years. I, he doesn't predict that Toyota will be using them widely. I want to make a point of that. By the way, guys, Toyota's stock price has fallen by 40% over the last few months. I believe investors are not buying the solid state battery hype from Toyota anymore. Toyota's stock price actually had a big rise up until about I believe it was about uh, the end of July, a big rise. I mean, literally, if you bought Toyota stock in 2005 uh, and you factored in depreciation, you would have made nothing. You would have made a loss on your investment until the last few months. All of a sudden, skyrockets. What do you think Toyota's trying to do by releasing this bogus information about their solid state batteries? Then the last few months, it has fallen drastically. Why? Well, one of the key reasons is I believe investors are saying, oh, maybe this is not realistic, but also their sales have fallen for six straight months in a row. And moving on, who will be the companies with solid state batteries? One of them will probably be Cadle or CATL. They're, to be honest, they don't make a song and a dance about their products unless they're real, unless they're actually on the market for sale. You can buy them, put them in a car, put them in an airplane, put them in a boat, whatever you want to do with them. They're legit. They're the biggest battery manufacturers in the world. There are a few others. Samsung's solid state battery, that sounds like it's legit. I made a video on that. Samsung could be first, possibly. Huge amounts of money though have been invested into uh, companies like Factorial, um, American solid state battery companies, which are definitely a possibility to be real. Now, no one really, the truth is no one really knows, is Samsung first into the automotive industry? Well, we know Samsung is first because there are cars right now with Samsung's solid state batteries in them being tested by numerous automakers. So that is legitimate. The claims from Nissan, is there solid state batteries from Nissan in their cars? That's just complete bullshit. There are none whatsoever. There's no prototypes, there's no nothing. Toyota don't have any either. That's just total nonsense. They should be sued for that stuff. I can't believe they're not. It's honestly a huge, It's it's like a sham of Trevor Milton, Nikola. That's what it's similar to. It's similar to that. It's incredible that they can get away with these lies because there are real companies really doing real stuff with solid state batteries. It's not Toyota and Nissan though. I can assure you of that fact. Now, BYD says that widespread use of solid state batteries will not happen over the next three years. Contrary to these Japanese automakers claims, BYD says that won't happen but it's expected to be realized in five years. This comes from BYD's chief scientist, Lan Yubo, and this was claimed, he said this in a speech at the 2024 World New Energy Vehicle Congress in Hainan province. Solar state batteries will be used only though in high-end models initially, which is what I've been trying to tell people for a long time now. Don't believe what Toyota's telling you. They're telling you they're gonna put them in all their affordable EVs. They said that that would happen in 2020, by the way, in 2021, then 2022, then. They won't be in affordable EVs. And that's what I've been trying to say to people. Don't wait for this. Don't wait to buy an EV. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you want to wait to buy an EV with solid state batteries, you're going to be waiting or, or spending a lot of money. So that's the point. They're going to be in expensive vehicles first, like supercars, that kind of thing, right? Or the pre premium, premium versions of manufacturers' cars. BYD confirms that's true. Then gradually, they'll go to mid and then low end and even budget models. Now that... That really surprised me. That solid state batteries will eventually be in budget cars. What does that say about you know standard lithium ion batteries, sodium ion batteries? Artificial intelligence seems to believe that sodium ion will actually be, become the dominant type of battery chemistry. Is that true? If sodium, if solid state batteries are going to be 
in budget cars. I don't think, of, I mean, if that happens, if you're gonna be driving around with a solid state battery in your $10,000 electric, US dollar electric car, well, what does that mean? You, you could have potentially 500 kilometers, 500 miles of range in these affordable cars in the future. That is just mind blowing. Could that happen? 100%, it will happen. I mean, it won't necessarily happen in 10 years. Maybe it'll be in 20, 30 years, I don't know. But the constant progress we're seeing from the battery industry is insane. And that is going to speed up immensely because the investments being put into the industry have tripled, quadrupled. The investments going in, we're talking literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billions. We've never seen this level of investment before in the battery industry. And that drives innovation. So does competition. The competition is absolutely ruthless. In the field of solid state batteries, BYD say they are doing in-depth research. Now, BYD need to get a move on. When it comes to EV technology, BYD are unquestionably falling behind their rivals. There's no doubt about that. They're, they're focused a lot on plug-in hybrids. Clearly, they're focused on getting out you know, 30, 40 different models of car to market. But if you look at the energy density of BYD's batteries, they're basically last, last. I mean, they are taking too long to innovate. And I'm sure they have innovated, but taking too long to get the product to market. Um, look at the motor, pa the power of their motors, basically um, charging speed. In those three categories, BYD unquestionably efficiency as well. So four categories, four very, very important categories, BYD has fallen behind. Um, and when I say fallen behind, I mean really behind. So hopefully within the next 12 months, BYD you know, catch back up, reveal some really good stuff they've been working on. That is very possible. Are they working on solid state batteries? Well, currently the solid state battery field faces challenges including high costs, complex manufacturing processes, and difficult integration with vehicles, says BYD. So it sounds like BYD maybe have been working on this themselves. Solid state batteries started to get wide attention in China after NIO announced that they would have a solid state battery in their ET7, in, well, they announced this in 2021. You can actually get uh, the NEO ET7, but you can't buy that battery. You can only rent it. So you can rent that battery, but it's not a solid state battery. It's a semi solid state battery. In fact, the energy density of that battery is really not even any better than existing lithium batteries that you can already buy that have an energy density of about 270 watt hours per kilogram. That battery density is actually lower than that. So the semi solid state battery market um, there was a lot of hoopla around that, semi-solid state. That has been a complete flop. It will never get off the ground. It's just not even a real thing. Think about it this way. Why on earth would you buy an expensive semi-solid state battery when from Cato, Cato manufacture the condensed battery, it has an energy density that's much, much higher, 400 watt hours per kilogram. Why would you bother? It doesn't make sense. So semi-solid state is finished. That, that, that market, don't invest in that. If your company that you're investing in is working on semi-solid state, it's just a waste of money. It's a waste of an, it's a waste of an investment. Solid state batteries though, you could be on a real winner there. Now, Neo semi solid state battery pack began trial operations in May of this year after several delays. And the semi solid battery cells from local startup Beijing Weedlion New Energy Technology have an energy density of three, 360 watt hours per kilogram. Now that's the claims. I don't actually believe those claims. They haven't been independently verified. That's a number that's come from the company, but the vehicle doesn't appear to get enough range to justify that, that energy density because the battery pack is 150 kilowatt hours. It's massive. It's 150 kilowatt hour battery, enormous, but the, the vehicle in the real world is getting less than a thousand kilometers of range, which if it has 360 watt hours per kilogram of energy density, it should be getting like 1,400 kilometers of range without any, without any issues, but it's not. So I don't believe that, that those claims for that battery are legitimate, but Samsung solid state battery, on the other hand, has the potential for an energy density upwards of 800 to 900 watt hours per kilogram. And I reckon BYD have probably seen what's going on there. Now, getting back to Cadle, the, the biggest manufacturer of batteries in the world, they have three different lithium ion phosphate battery chemistries at the moment. You can buy all three of them. There is the Shenzhen battery, there's the Shenzhen Plus battery, and there's the Chillin 2.0 battery. Plus, they also have another lithium, in fact, they have five in total. They have two other lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are intended for uh, commercial vehicles, for trucks, for buses, all those kinds of vehicles. 
even for machinery. Now, one of those has a 1 million kilometer warranty, but that's for 80% of the battery. Basically, if you've driven this thing for a million kilometers and it hasn't retained 80% of its original capacity, they'll give you a new one. Amazing. They say it'll last for at least 1 million miles. They also have another battery that's similar to that, which is considered to last for around 20% less than that battery pack in terms of overall lifespan, but it has a much higher energy density. That battery pack has an energy density that I believe is 195 watt hours per kilogram. So that's their two commercial batteries. So in other words, they have five different LFP batteries, all with a higher energy density than BYD's blade battery. But that gives you some context of the energy density of LFP versus the energy density of these advanced lithium ion batteries, which have about double the energy density of the best LFP batteries. BYD is the world's second largest manufacturer of batteries. They have 16% market share worldwide. Cadle have around 35%, in fact, 37.6%. Now, Cadle are saying that they will be producing solid state batteries, all solid state batteries in small quantities in 2027. But they say cost is the big barrier. And if anyone can manufacture batteries at scale and reduce costs, it's Cadle. They are the biggest, most powerful, most efficient battery company in the world. If they're saying it's difficult to do, then it's probably worth you know considering what they're saying because Cadle actually, they tell the truth. These guys aren't making stuff up like Toyota, like Nissan, and that is the truth. We're looking at still around five years before solid state batteries actually hit the market. So what about LFP? I mean, does that mean that LFP batteries, if solid state batteries are going to be the dominant battery and they're going to be in cheap EVs, does that mean that LFP will disappear? LFP batteries have been in development for more than 20 years. They already have mass manufacturing. They have more than 65% of the global battery market now. And BYD responded to this. They did provide some information. They believe that LFP batteries will not be obsolete in the next 15 to 20 or even 20 years. They will be developed alongside solid state batteries for use in different classes of vehicles. In other words, BOD predicts that it won't be sodium ion, it'll be lithium ion phosphate batteries still used in commercial vehicles, trucks, machinery, um, caravans, um, motorhomes, all these different purposes and uses, potentially home battery storage, BYD is saying it'll be lithium ion phosphate, not sodium and not solid state for those purposes. That's interesting. Personally, I do not believe it's it's ever going to happen that solid state batteries will be used in budget EVs as BYD are claiming. I could be wrong. I just don't think it makes sense. And the reason for that is what I've mentioned before. We already have the capacity to build very advanced lithium ion phosphate batteries at incredibly, incredibly low prices on mass. We're talking enough for millions and millions of cars every month, every month, not just every year, every month. We have enough capacity. We're not actually using it all. Our factories in China, a lot of them are idling, waiting for orders from manufacturers. We have massive capacity to build the cheapest form of battery we've ever been able to. And the energy density of those batteries continues to improve every year. I mean, lithium ion phosphate battery energy density has improved by about 20% over the last 12 months. That's enormous. Solid state batteries would have a long, long way to go to be able to come down to the price where they displace what lithium ion phosphate costs in 10 or 20 years from now, which would be even cheaper than it is today. <laughs> 